plate for my engine mount, um, or at least half of the bracket. I, uh, I couldn't find any 14 millimeter bolts, so I stole the ones from the oil girdle, and it's just temporary to make sure I had my holes all lined up, so I threaded them in there, um, I don't know, like three or four turns, and just slid the plate flush to the block on these little flattened spots to make sure that it, it fits good and it fits perfect. So, uh, time to make the other one. And it's simply just 3 8 plate that I had some scrap of, so I cut it out with the Oxy Torch and uh, cleaned it up on the belt sander as, as good as I could, or as best as I could. Um, and um, I'm gonna drill the holes just like I did on the other one, um, but I'm thinking about making them both like an X pattern in a sense, so like cut it out like that, um, something along there. I don't want them just to be a, a plain square. Um, I want to either make it a little bit, the, the corners of them rounded, or do something just a little bit different, so it's not just a, a plain boring square bolted to the side of my monstrous engine Ugh. and uh yeah that's the side that i haven't filled with the other weld yet i just bolted it back in there but uh that's the side that i re-welded i got it pretty good i'm gonna go back over it with some scotch bright and a lot finer sandpaper and clean it up but yeah she's coming along so uh i'm gonna keep trying to make the other plate and possibly one of the main brackets or braces coming off. Um, I still have to order the polyurethane bushings. I'm just going to get some random off the shelf polyurethane bushings that I can fit in like a two inch tube like right about here um, or whatever I can find really. I really don't care what they are. I'm going to be making it all custom anyways. But uh, I'm going to see how far I can get on these engine brackets. And uh, I ordered another box of sound deadening, and it was supposed to come on Monday, my birthday, and uh, today is Tuesday. Apparently the mail truck didn't even come at all today, which is really weird. And I uh, checked the shipping, and it won't be here till Friday for some reason, even though it's in Marysville, so it's like a five minute drive. So, I don't know. Anyways, so we're going to keep working on these engine brackets and uh, try and get them both at least halfway done tonight. And then, I don't know, we'll work on fitting on the transmission or making the custom shifter for it because the, the shifter location has been so pushed so far back. You can see it right there. And uh, the shifter... That's, that's like right there, and this is about an extra foot that adds to it, so I'm just going to cut it here and here and save this whole spring mechanism for the reverse on there, and I really like the, the short throw of this shifter. Um, so I'm going to have to make a little custom linkage piece that fits down in there, but that's easy. I don't know if I'm there yet. i got to make the final engine brackets first, so... Uh, Let's get back to it. As you can see, I got a new toy, a uh, 
a Miller 375 plasma cutter. I was done fighting with that horrible oxyacetylene torch and I found a good deal on it. Um, all I need to do is get a drag tip for it and bam, it's done. I mean, it's obviously okay, was cutting fine. So these are gonna be my engine mounts. They're kind of crude looking right now. Um, I'm still gonna clean them up, but that's what it started as before I started cutting and hacking. And that's what it's gonna end up looking like, but I'm gonna refine it and get all the little waves out of it. And that'll be like that. And then another update was I got bushings in the mail. And here they are. I just turned them down on the lathe at my grandpa's house. And they're gonna be going in a sleeve or a pipe like this. And they'll have a custom arm welded from the X plate engine mounts to here. And then to the section right about here. And they'll bolt in, let's see, right about like that. So, she's coming along. She's coming along. So, I have made four of these plates, all identical. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Four of these plates, all identical, two for each side. And this is what the final product will look like. So the bushing is inside this pipe right here. You can kind of see, I don't know if it'll focus, but there's a small washer in between um, the actual rubber bushing and this side of the plate on both sides. And uh, that's it right there. Um, bam. And then I'm gonna get a piece of angle iron. I'm gonna cut the piece of angle iron probably about that wide or so, probably about two inches sticking off on either side. Weld these two tabs to the angle iron and then have that angle iron piece. Like I said, that angle iron piece is gonna fit right over this 90 degree on the frame right here. And uh, then all I gotta do is make the other X mount for the other side, get the measurements from here to here, make sure I got the right angle and weld it all together. So uh, let's get back to it. I got one of them welded up, ready to go. Um, man, somebody's still shooting fireworks off, bunch of idiots. Anyways, um, as you can see, I know what I'm doing when it comes to a welder. Um, so, one engine bracket, done. It's literally just a piece of angle iron and two tabs on it. And then here's gonna be the bushings that I made and um, they fit perfect right down in there. So, time to make the other one. And then I think I am going to call it a night. Um, made a lot of progress today as far as getting, getting some core pieces needed, or core pieces that I needed to be able to finish getting that engine in there. And um, yeah, let's weld the other one up.